paper that Ginny Simmons uh, decided to uh, to save. This is the last tour because uh, he's uh, in his seventies, so it's time to retire. But Rock is dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean... because fans killed it. Fans killed the Rock, so oh, I, Rock is dead. I really love their attitude. They're really crazy. I mean, beautiful. Nice guy. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. So, so, I think it's time for us to start. Actually, uh, we're already a lot into uh, the the episode. It's time to start the review of today's uh, record. Uh, Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Wee! Talk to me. Totally incompetent review. So uh, you must know that uh, basically each one of us uh, will choose a single record uh, to review. So this record was chosen by Idzi. So do you want to start with the specs of this album? Yeah, uh, so the the album uh, here that I decided to choose is uh, Fear Inoculum by Tool. And uh, yeah, just to start easy, exactly. <laughs> Something really easy to review, easy listening, and uh, yeah. So for for all the people that don't know Tool, I'm reading on the Wikipedia page that Tool. You don't say that. Come on. <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry. On the Wikipedia page, uh, they say that. Uh, Tool is an object that can extend an individual's <laughs> ability to modify features of the surrounding environment. So, <laughs> and also uh, that, a band. That's uh, what the album is about. But actually, Tool is a uh, is a band as well. Also, to be uh, uh, totally fair, let's say. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's an American band based on Los Angeles and uh, uh, formed in the 1990s and uh, the group's line includes uh, uh, Maynard James Keenan uh, guitarist uh, Adam Jones uh, drummer (laughs) drummer Danny Carey Ah! uh, and uh, there is uh, the the bass player that is uh, Justin, Justin, sorry, Justin Chancellor. Yeah, yeah. So cool band, cool band, amazing around for a while. But so the the cool thing about this album is that uh, uh, so it has been released um, relatively recently. We, we we decided that we were talking about recent albums, but it actually has been released on the thirtieth of August, twenty nineteen. Yeah. So is. More or less re- recent, and um, yeah, there are a lot of interesting information about uh, this album, uh, and uh, so uh, uh, this album has been produced by Evil Joe Baresi. I don't know who he is, but he sounds a cool guy to call himself <laughs> evil. I will get a beer with him. Yeah, yeah, an evil beer. Uh, so that is um, is the one that does the the mixing and the recording. So recording engineer and mixing and mastering is by Bob Lu- Ludwig. I don't know who he is because I, I understand almost nothing about this technical term. But it's be- it's beautiful to say that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting uh, f- facts about this album is the fact that it's the first album of the band after thirteen years uh, uh, from wow. the previous album the, the title of the previous album was uh, 10,000 days yeah, and honestly awesome it, album it, it, it had become a, a meme I mean uh, the, the next tools uh, album was like the thing that will never ever come and yet like the next uh, Guns N' Roses album yeah. and then that came and we, ah. we wept for that such a pain <laughs> yeah i totally agree uh, totally agree so it looks like there are re- there are actual co- reasonable uh, reasons why uh, he has been released uh, quickly which were some problems some legal problems because it looks like that uh, a friend of the guitar player sued uh, 
the band uh, for uh, for uh, uh, the use of an artwork uh, because he was claiming his ownership of his uh, artwork, but. Uh, uh, the band uh, relied on uh, an insurance company for the lawsuit, uh, which ended up to suing uh, Tool, and the Tool resued the the insurance company. So they went through this very long uh, American way su- lawsuit uh, <laughs> thing that takes uh, ages. Plus, uh, the drummer uh, broke his uh, ribs uh, by riding the motorbike. Other interesting stuff is the fact that. Uh, uh yeah so a lot of uh different problems it, it was like yeah, excuses a... they just put out to say okay next year next year <laughs> yeah yeah then uh, in the meantime they they, they became parents uh, so start parenting and all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. that's a tough job Izzy, i would say <laughs> i can say now that's a tough job <laughs> i can't understand <laughs> Uh, let's let's also remember, sorry, that uh, the guitarist Adam Jones is also an expert in um, special effects. Uh, he also worked in uh, Hollywood, and uh, he basically is the author of most uh, artworks in Tool's uh, album and uh, uh, their also their music videos. That, if I can be completely honest, I. F- find uh, uh, their music videos are some of the most uh, creepy <laughs> things and unsettling uh, videos I have ever seen. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's why I love them. <laughs> the creepier, the better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, so there, there, are, there are some interesting other points about the album. Is the fact that it won a Grammy Award, the album, for uh, the song uh, Tempest, uh, that is spelled Seven Empest with an I will call it Seven Pest. <laughs> seven Pest. Seven Pest. Uh, so it won, it won a Grammy Award for Best Metal Performance, uh, which is cool. And uh, the, uh, it's interesting because uh, so the, the song is uh, 16 minutes long. <laughs> so quite, quite unusual for the uh, current standards. Yeah, uh, which uh, usually is uh, three minutes and a half, and uh, yeah, the not fact that, that much uh, for progressive. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, well, it, it, it's pretty pro- progressive uh, uh, or non-progressive because the time signature is in twenty-one. God, so I mean, uh, if you manage to play that live, sixty minutes with those kind of polyrhythms and those kind of time signatures, you should win the Grammy Award for Best God, <laughs> not only metal performance. I mean, that's completely crazy. Uh, yeah, the, uh, also the album won the, um, the title track, so Fear Inoculum, uh, won uh, the Guinness World Record, the Guinness World Record um, for uh, the longest song ever to to be in the chart of the Billboard Hot 100. So nice. Wow. That's, a, that's another thing. And uh, the other thing uh, about this album is that I learned a new word, that, that I didn't know, <laughs> which is uh, p- pneuma. I didn't pneuma. know that, what a pneuma means. Uh, I'll let you describe uh, someone of you because I never studied philosophy and uh, it's related to the stoic thought. So I let you... Uh, people that have a bigger culture than me explain what it is actually in uh, in ancient Greek pneuma uh, also means uh, lungs as you can say by pneumonia for example which is the infection of lungs and it's also related to anything uh, re- kindly related to no, not kindly sorry I will redo the sentence <laughs> it's also related to anything about uh, breathing of course from lungs and air in general so uh, from the stoic philosopher the beetle spirit vital spirit soul and stuff yeah and also wow. the the p is mute so it's pneuma pneuma i read it on in english. Uh, on a piece of paper i here i have here <laughs> just in english okay. or also in, in ancient greece no, in English, in English. I, I don't know about okay. ancient Greeks if they pronounce the P, uh, but I think so. Uh, uh, it's correct. It's like a, uh, a psychology that you don't pronounce the, the P. Sorry. 
That's because we are Italian. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, per you, man. <laughs> Mamma mia, what an album. <laughs> yeah, so uh, regarding what an album, uh, Anto, what do you think of his album? So uh, let's just have a couple of premises about this. So I love Tool, even though I kind of got them into them uh, quite late. Also, second premise, I'm not one that looked too much at lyrics, and I actually didn't in this case. But if I know uh, Maynard James Keenan, I'm sure I will find an incredible you know, display of poetry and layers of meanings. Of craziness, mostly. <laughs> yeah, that's just what he does. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, anyway, I think this album is as tool as it can be. <laughs> it features all of their signature things. I don't know, I felt like it takes you in some kind of a sonic journey, as some non-incompetent people say sometimes. <laughs> because, and, and this uh, kind of uh, links to what uh, Maynard use, uh, says usually, that all of their albums should be listened to from the first song to the last without jumping around or listening just to that song. And I agree, actually, it's, every album is kind of an experience. It's not something you can listen to just bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, but it's not the real thing. Absolutely. Totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. And I mean, it's a really well-crafted experience and they build these kind of uh, soundscapes that are quite hypnotic, uh, dreaming like, uh, I would say also sometimes primal, I, uh, because the drums usually are very, some, uh, feels like a tribal thing. And with all these kind of effects and also the time, odd time signatures and their uh, signature, <laughs> Uh, accent playing inside the old time signature <laughs> uh, always create these uh, uh, ah, we can call it these kind of hallucin son sonic hallucinations and you're always like uh, Tripping. hypnotized by that yeah and I mean it's this album just feature all of this it's very, it's very tool, let's say. A, a great tool by tool. I must say, personally, uh, I, it's not my favorite tool album. That doesn't mean in any way that it is bad because they don't know how to do bad stuff. <laughs> and I mean, the playing is top notch. And I mean, Maynard is just incredible with uh, his performance. I mean, I, I think it's an experience you have to, you know, experience. <laughs> so, uh, okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Anto. Uh, it was really touching, a bit <laughs> like, uh, but I'm not talking about touching John Petrucci, by the way. Okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, Francis, what's your opinion of, uh, of the album? I definitely, agree with uh, with the Emperor Anto because uh, I mean the very first point in my my notes is this record is freaking tool from the very first second of intro I mean uh, the, you can instantly say okay this is tool yeah if you already know the the rest of their discography it's absolutely clear uh, lots of uh, as Anto said percussions polyrhythms uh, hypnotic patterns of all the time signatures, really long hypnotic songs, uh, and that's uh, very interesting. Another uh, interesting thing I, I observed is uh, there are actually a lot of uh, uh, interlude songs, or also intro songs, and uh, if you think about it in uh, 
Sen uh, 